how I did my road trip, I wish that I could have had, this was supposed to be like a vacation for me too, as far as like wanting to catch up on writing that I wanted to do, wanting to catch up on editing that I wanted to do, wanting to do a whole bunch of creative things. This was supposed to be like a road trip to go out and spend time with myself so I could get all these creative things done that I want to do. I didn't have the chance to do that. I had to do all the driving, so I didn't really, I never had any time to ride shotgun and to sit down and do anything. At the same time, I chose to only stay in a campsite for one night. How I did it was a spontaneous way, kind of like get the trip going, like I'm excited to be out here. Next time when I do this, I want to stop and have time to myself and spend, spend more extended times to sit around. I enjoyed the places that I went. Oh my God, I enjoyed them extensively. I will go back. There's places that are forever in my heart that I love and I want the people that I love to experience it as well with me because I love that place so much. But at the same time, I want to slow it down and spend more time at that place to fully experience and fully take in everything that's going on everything i think that's something that i would recommend like how i went about it was awesome it was fun like the trip it, i got it done like it, it was cool i didn't miss out i missed out on hot springs i should have went off the trail for that if you want to do it how i did it do it go ahead but at the same time to spend a couple more days in that place so you can have time to yourself so you can have time to really find yourself really connect with what's going on really get in tone with the trip that's what i want to do i want to spend maybe a maximum of like four days minimum of two days and figure out how to really sit down and really really enjoy it i would recommend that road trip in whole was very scripted especially since we had a map to go by but there was this time coming out of oklahoma where the thing we wanted to see in Arkansas, the Toltec Mounds was closed on the day that we were gonna go see it. I think I was getting itching to get to Alabama and see all my friends and family that I haven't seen in like two years. So I was like, forget it, Toltec Mounds will come back. Going into Arkansas, when we passed the border, I stopped at the visitor center and was like, hey, anything to do around here that you recommend that's cool, Arkansas-y, that, yeah. And she's like, Ozark National Forest is right down the road if you wanna, if you wanna do that. And I'm like, all right, that, Ozark, Arkansas was one of my favorite, it wasn't my favorite place because Pikes Peak was my favorite place. Arkansas was my favorite experience because we had no set plan. This state park was in the way off, like roads not good, like out there just trying, she's like, take a right, take a left. And I'm like, oh God, I have no address to put into my GPS. Like I'm going to get lost. Like I'm just following the signs and there's only two of them in total that say Ozark National Forest. That was awesome. It was like a no set really destination, not really knowing what you're doing, just going. If there's some way that I could embody that feeling, embody that into the trip in whole it would be exhilarating turn right turn left there you go have fun and when i got there it was like starting to thunderstorm and there was people jumping off the bridge into this beautiful beautiful water of course i jumped off and the campsite was so primitive we were the only ones there and the campsite manager was like hey there's a band of raccoons who have been getting into a lot of shit lately so if you could just keep your stuff up that'd be great and he's like also 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 there's an adolescence bear running around, adolescence meaning that he's not a baby, so there's not a mom to worry about, but at the same time, he's not like a grown up, so he's not like aggressive. But if you see him, like it, it's chill, like it's it's fine, like he's, he's cool. And I'm like, all right. And then like we found a local who was one of the bridge jumpers who was like, oh my God, you gotta go up to these cliffs. I didn't film it. I got little baby clips on my stupid old phone with poor camera video. We went up there and watched the clouds roll in in the sunset and see like the light slowly turning on from the cities and far distances. Like it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. And when I went to sleep that night, the owls were so active, like nature was in full charge in symphony. Like nature was the head honcho in that place. Nature was letting you experience it. I don't know how to explain it all the way, if that makes sense, like if that any of that makes sense. So I would definitely try to find some way to embody that spontaneous, spontaneous in it. And I feel like if you take the time to not spend only one day in a place, you could have that spontaneous because you could go see the place you wanted to see and then you could go off and go wherever else and then plan to go to your next destination, which I feel like could work. You'd have to open your budget up a little bit more, but it could work and that's what I want to do.